Intramembrane esophagization is the development of bone from fibrous membrane during fetal development before weakening. It is involved in the formation of the flat bone of the skull, the mandible, and the clavicle. The skull and the vertebral column are produced by intramembrane esophagization. It is a process by which bone tissues are created and important for the natural healing of bone fractures. There are four important steps in intramembrane ossification. The four important steps are the development of ossification center, calcification, the formation of trabeculae, development of periosteum. First of all, ossification center is the start point of the bone. It takes place in collagen fibers, mesenchymal cells, and connective tissues. Mesenchymal cells are the stem cells that forming bone cells. Collagen fibers plays its role to give strength to different type of matrix. In the connective tissues, mesenchymal cells aggregate, and then differentiate, into osteoblasts. Osteoblasts then secrete osteoid an uncalcified matrix, which build the bone in that area. This part is known as ossification center. The bone matrix begin to calcify when the calcium salts and enzyme alkaline phosphate is added into it. After that, osteoblast and osteoid differentiate into mature osteocyte. These osteocytes are now housed inside of little areas called lacunae. Thus the newly calcified bone matrix is formed. The ossification then continues with the spicules formed from the developing of osteoblasts. This branch-like structures grow outward from the ossification center. The spicules continue to grow and touch one another. In the same time the blood vessels migrate into the area between spicules. Later, the spicules trap the blood vessels and allow the bone to be vascularized. The vascularized bone in the center is known as trabeculae. It is also called spongy bone or cancellous bone. Besides, here is where the red bone cells are found within the red bone marrow. Finally, the collagen fibers and mesenchymal cells on the outside begin to squeeze together. Then, they condensed into periosteum which composed of fibrous tissue that can produce more osteoblast. Periosteum is the lining outside of the bone that wraps around bone like a favorite pair of skinning jeans clings to your leg. The intramembraneous ossification initially forms spongy bone. However, compact bone is formed through the process of bone remodeling. A flat bone is formed when the spongy bone is filled with the two outer layer of compact like a sonage. In conclusion, intramembraneous ossification is the formation of bone. It consists of four important steps which begins with ossification center. During the process flat bones such as skull, mandible and clavicle are formed, 